Hello and welcome. It's time for you again with Shelia Stevens, my friend. Hello. And myself, Lea Wernke. And what we are doing is real talk about things that we saw or just our lives or at the moment my hair is kind of violet and gray because I wanted to have them as blonde as possible, but it's going to be a journey. That's a thing, for example. And yeah, about that, I, I want, I told Shelia already, I just tell you guys, I was afraid to go back to the hairdresser. Isn't that interesting? Mm. And it was yellowish and I didn't like it. And I, I told her, yeah, I try. And she said, you know, to to become that um, clear, that blonde, we have to do it again. And she was a bit like strong-minded and she really knew or she seemed like that she knew what she's doing. And I had to go back and I was a bit afraid. I was like, oh, I have to tell her that I'm not okay and I don't like that. I'm quite the... Uh, not harsh, but quite clear coach and teacher, and I'm able to to tell the truth. But with hairdresser or waiter, or I'm somehow a people pleaser. Sometimes. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Yeah, I you. am. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Isn't this that is interesting? A, yeah, this is surprising to me because I, I didn't know that about you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am. And I really have to 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 take courage to go back and say I'm not okay with it. And I did it. And it was totally fine. But now it's violet slash grayish. And I I kind of like it even. And it's so, gonna be different. Yeah. Is it okay? Is it okay if I translate for you yes. for a second? So violet is um a purplish color. And it's so like a grayish, purplish grayish. Mm -hmm. That's what you probably wanted yeah. to say. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes. So just to let you know, yeah, it's sometimes needed that you do it <laughs> and that you go back and say before, that you're not okay with whatever you want. Before you start with your Paris story, because I know you're going to do that, but do you remember when we were on the, at the Bodensee in Constant mm -hmm. or near there? So do you remember the lady who gave you Swiss prices and we had to go back? Yes. So, okay, guys. Ah! So we, we thought... Like, and Celia our... had to do it for me. Yeah. So this is... We said on Real Talk, we were just going to yes. talk from our real yeah. lives. So I was renting a house for a while on Lake Constance, um, sort of on... It's like a, a triangle between Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. Mm. And so it has... Um, on three sides of the lakes, it's in a different country. Mm -hmm. And the side we were on was the German side. And Leah was coming over from the Swiss side... And um, we were at this lovely little store right mm -hmm. around like COVID. They just think open back up again for a little little bit. You had to go in distance yeah. mask and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, we and, had such a great time. Babe. Oh, that yeah. was so fun. We, we did mm -hmm. canoeing and all kinds of stuff in the middle of winter. Um, yeah. So we walk into this lovely little store and what did you buy? Was it like a vinegar, some yes. sort of... Mm -hmm some sort of flavored vinegar. It was like one of yeah. those fancy bottles or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so the Germans sometimes charge the Swiss, Swiss prices because mm -hmm. they have more money. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so I look on the bottle and it says like <laughs> six euros and 90 cents and they have charged Leia 15 euros. Yes. <laughs> And we walk out. Do you remember that? Yes. And we walk out and I see the receipt and I was furious, but we didn't we didn't uh, recognize it till we got home. Yes. And Leah was like, no, it's okay. It's okay. And I'm like, no, <laughs> we're going back. Yeah. No. So I remember the next day we went yes. back and compl I complained and got yes. the money back. But yes, yeah. mm -hmm. that was very cool. Yeah, I, I, it, I, I have a people pleaser side and and actually, there is something to see and to learn from me. And it's a path. It is. I say easily yes if somebody is in need or a damsel or a, a man in distress or mm -hmm. a kid or 
because I have I'm doing so good and I I I have a lovely family and I'm actually probably I'm just so so happy and grateful that I don't have a secret life anymore that I'm kind of for a long time I didn't care about what I want mm -hmm. that's really interesting because it was so rich and beautiful and I got my life back that there were not a lot of wants yeah. somehow and in the last couple of weeks and months it was actually during Isla's Isla Coates I'm in Isla Coates group and I there was a there was a space for me to just becoming curious about the creation part of life again I, I was totally into having hands on my back we we say that it's kind of following the notches and the mind and the lifeness through me and just doing whatever shows up and and i was totally into that it was so ad adventurous and i was so curious and i i know that's a huge Part and path in this reprintable community for a lot of people, kind of a goal to to be there. Mm -hmm. And for me, something is shifting in in the sense of oh, I also can want things again, and 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 be needy or not being okay with my hair or being very human again as well i was i was i i'm human and i'm messy and I've, i'm a mom and a wife and a friend and a teacher and i do uh, i've got a normal human life but i was also often on my bench as well, a part of me, like being in in the space of being more than human as well, like not mm. that 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 just was the path or the way. It was not that I did choose that somehow. Mm -hmm. It was just how it was. And I I said that I did stand up from my bench. The bench is kind of the metaphor for the insights I had and for really coming back to life and and seeing the oneness in all things and really deeply being touched by it and knowing that we think and feel and that's not a fact and that that's an internal game and all this stuff was so rich and and so cool that some part of the the being human like this also creation through us that we are already God within because we are here like it's through the humans, the creations that God is in the world. Somehow, mm -hmm. it it comes it 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 sinks deeper, like in a in a. It's more embodied and real, and not that spiritual. Um, and and I'm I'm beginning to to be really curious about oh i want that and let's try and mm. maybe fail <laughs> and ooh is it okay to fail as just leah 
and not to fail as oh mine drew me and mm. I may do it or not do it mm. isn't that interesting mm -hmm. and I'm I'm in for it mm. and it's kind of discovering parts of me again in a new way they were there before and they kind of dissolved in 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 the huge insight i had and coming back alive in a new way and that's really interesting mm -hmm. at the moment with your, with your violet grayish self <laughs> that's <laughs> yes to to see i don't want to have the yellow hair so i'm going back and yeah and not like yeah it's okay and i was okay with the yellow hair and I, now i feel mm, no leah wants to have different hair so what is she going to do she's going back to the bit bitchy not bitchy the very strict hairdresser and <laughs> just telling the hairdresser what she wants yeah as a very small example of it mm -hmm. so we started out saying we wanted to talk about Paris so I want you to tell me about that because you made me so curious does it still fit in with this topic can we still go there yes okay come on let's talk about it I don't know. Actually, <laughs> probably that was the the forward. What's the forward? The uh, the, the preface. The preface. The preface mm -hmm. for what what I wanted to talk about because I saw two pieces, two plays in Paris, and very controversial ones. I'm not even telling you guys the titles because it doesn't matter. Um, the interesting thing was the one, the first one on Friday was in a very huge public um, theater, and so for kind of a, a a a culturally interested folk, but mainstream as well, like in a huge place, and it's a play that is sold out or over the world and I can tell you it's it's called um, Florentina Holziger it's an uh, Austrian um, choreographer and Austrian? very Austrian yeah Austrian choreographer what yes. is it called sorry what is it called again um, Florentina Holziger Florentina it's, Holziger okay yes and it's controversial and and really a lot of nudity and a lot of um, um like sensible themes and it it really goes even it stretches the the viewers um boundaries mm -hmm. in a lot of ways Okay, and it was uh, probably thirty people left the audience on this day. And but what I saw is they were. It was a it was mastery on the stage. It was embodied, and and deep knowing of what they're doing. Like one of the actresses is a real ballet dancer star, um, but now eighty three years old and playing the ballet teacher in a strange, um, but very realistic way. So it's embodied, like everything that she does, and. And kind of all of it, it has, it had had a, a component that was really strange and weird, and all of this body, um, to 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 to, um, there are performers performers who do hurt themselves mm -hmm. to on stage 
stuff like this. Okay. But also, these guys were were deeply professional in a way. So you, even when it was disturbing, it was it it came from a grounded space, grounded, embodied human. And and inspired space. So it was touching and weird and and made me feel things and grow. Like it was a transformative space. Wow, okay. In a way. And the other play a, a day later was kind of the same themes. And we didn't know that. We stumbled across it. So it was again nudity and as well this body performance stuff and as well um, kind of expansion of boundaries or ideas about human and gender and all these kind of things. So a second a second event with a similar yes. kind of characteristic. Yes. Okay. And the difference for me, and, and the audience loved it. They were into it, and it was for them, and it was kind of a underground setting. But it didn't touch me at all. And somehow the difference I was reflecting, and maybe it's not true, it was just a reflection, it it came from a storm place from a more agitated or more of a finding solution for feelings that you don't want to have place so it it i had the impression it touched storm touched storm and often in the world i see that that people are attracted to the storm or the 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 ideas, the concepts, the hate, the of another one. Yeah. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, well and it yeah. It was kind of the same and the first one out of mm, of hey, there is something new to see about yourself and love in the, in the, uh, in a way. And the other of, it felt like uh, insecurity, masked insecurity. Mm -hmm. And that was really, really special too to see and and it's both end and everything is okay and everything in between but just to see how different it was for me and also from for my husband it mm -hmm. was not just for me how and where we were touched or or questioned or or ex expanded expanded Expan or, expanded mm -hmm. expanded and and not mm -hmm. yeah I mean, that's so interesting Leah first of all you're making me want to go to Paris <laughs> <laughs> <I know. laughs> uh, Leah Leah goes there how often do you guys go every year you and oh, once husband? or twice yeah once or twice it's like their their romantic place yes. Leah Leah went to school um in France for a, yeah. did it go for like a full year yes yeah like first grade yeah first I was just, grade mm -hmm. and she has an artist aunt who lives there yeah. and she yeah. she loves to speak French so I know how you guys love to go yeah. on those trips and I don't I mean I think it's I think it's always difficult to like like you said it's never truth with a capital T like who knows what know. somebody else was feeling in the same room maybe felt they felt it was touched and grounded because they were feeling grounded at the moment so but that doesn't that doesn't even matter it's for me what I hear in in that conversation and then I have had some conversations with Sandra Heim about this recently because this year you know I've been getting really interested in this idea of 
what happens when things are created from a grounded, alive place? And what happens when things get born of our headspace, right? Uh, in German, we have a very clear word, the Kopfgeburt, right? Mm. The, the head birth. We don't have that word in English, um, but maybe the brainchild or, you know, and it's, it's all, all, if you look in the world at large, you know, you're going to see the creations born from those two places, right? Mm -hmm. From, from deep within a grounded, alive space in someone or things that people are just thinking up to do um, from whatever thought mm -hmm. pattern that they're having, whether it's to feel more secure or to um, counteract a, a thing they think is hateful and they have to bring a message to it or they have to save someone or save themselves, right? And what I'm just getting curious in for myself is like, what does that feel like? Can, mm -hmm. can we feel it in the world? Mm. Um, I was watching um, a movie recently where I had the, a similar experience to you. It was um, Killers of the Flower uh, Moon with Leonardo DiCaprio mm -hmm. and Lily. Oh, I can't think of her last name. Mm -hmm. She's a, she's a native American actress. Oh, I can't think of her last name, but it's, it's the story of, um, the Osage people and how they struck oil and how they were um, completely suppressed in their ability to be in charge of their own mm -hmm. uh, wealth and how they were murdered for their for their wealth. Um, and it's still happening today in Arizona in a different way. It's crazy. but and this movie was to me one of those things where I just, in my mind, I felt it came from a grounded, alive place. It mm. was just, every single thing about it was energetically mm, ah, like sat I don't know the word in mm. uh in in English um full and mm. and juicy in a way and other things that that I watch that just feel flat and um off in a way mm -hmm. so I think there I think there is something to that um and like our, our conversations that we have the whole time, like it's all good, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. it, it all exists. It's all of the same energy, but it, it does seem to have its own feeling. It does. And, and ah, yes. And like chips and avocado bread or dark bread with avocado. Yeah. It has its place. And Sometimes a head birth leads to something deeper or vice versa, or we can play with all of it. And I, I think for me is just to be aware from where it comes does make a difference to my life. And it's not needed, of course not. Yeah. And and as well to be okay with the beginner's mind and to be a beginner and to to be able to not do it that well or good but to to know if I'm coming from the space within that's also easier. Mm -hmm. to not beat yourself up when it's just a try or a not so good or a, a maybe and that's okay too yeah yeah huh. and there is something in mastery and embodiment and we are drawn to it somehow Mm -hmm. There is, it's probably, it, it could be a, a, a space that, that opens up transformation or insight, or it's a, maybe it's an insight or transformation friendly space. And somehow we are drawn to that, like yeah. really incredible art or music or, or plays or film. And 
it doesn't matter how what's your taste or what you like better or if something is strange to you when it's artful or or from that space then then maybe it's it's a catalyst in a way to yeah to learn something about us or ourselves i 100% believe that to be true uh, that's that was also a discussion I was having with Sandra it's like one of the characteristics is not just the feeling that we get when it comes from here you can't see on the podcast but I'm I'm pointing to my heart mm -hmm. space and it coming bubbling up from there like we can feel that mm -hmm. difference energetically um but it definitely creates a sort of like I love that what you said this transformational friendly space like we were saying kind of mm -hmm. in a it, it makes an impact in a way that something that's born of our thinking, uh, mm -hmm. thinking something up doesn't have, it's a different quality of impactfulness that mm -hmm. is on offer through something that's created mm -hmm. from that aliveness within us, mm -hmm. which is what makes it so interesting for me as well. Totally. Yeah. And still you have to be willing to be bad. I'm, I'm an, a coaching nerd. And the uh, and healing or or insight or transformation, making making it possible for other people, nerd. So I think Shelia knows that like mm -hmm. every day, all day, about how to even um, help better, <laughs> or mm -hmm. I don't know how to put it, but be more impactful. Mm -hmm be more impactful and and I learn and I study and I I I can't help it's just it draws me there that's somehow my art in a way yeah and and I know I also have to be beginner and and bad and and awkward and cringe and strange too on the path to 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 become masterful at it and but from there it's really it is easier from the when I'm coming from this intention of being of service of of becoming masterful for the the cause mm. I I I'm more okay with the insecurities and the, the exercising and the falling flat on my belly thing of the path and enjoying the path as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Ah, oh, Leah, we have covered <laughs> a whole range of topics today. This real talk is getting interesting <laughs> for sure. Um, yeah. Do you want to close us out for today? Yeah. So we started with uh, like purple rain, purple hair and courage and creation and head creation and heart creation and being willing to fail, to become masterful and and it sounds like a lot, but actually it's just life and <laughs> and and being willing to be touched by life so that we can mm, really step into our hero journey and 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 just take the next step wherever it leads us. And we hope that that it inspires you to to maybe mm, go through life and and just experiment and and be touched by our hope that we see for you because we see it for ourselves as mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. yeah so thank you <laughs> for having tea with us or or doing laundry or thinking what the heck are these two talking about and um it's a joy and an honor to do that with you and for you mm. Mm. very cool 
So don't forget to subscribe to the podcast and tell a friend. <laughs> she like... wanted me to say that and I totally forget that. <laughs> that's okay. That's why there are two of us, not just one. <laughs> and tell a friend who you think might be interested um, in the three principles and two crazy chicks living in Switzerland and Germany. And we'll see you soon on the next podcast. <laughs> see you then. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.